Now we're going to get ready to work with our Play-Doh. And before we do that, we're gonna get our hands ready. We wanna make our hands nice and strong. So we're gonna sing this song. It goes, open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap. So now your hands are nice and warmed up. I want you to get your Play-Doh mat. I want you to get your Play-Doh and you can get your rolling pin too. Hi friends, it's Miss Lauren here and today we're gonna learn how we form our letter of the week, which is G, right? So as we work on the letter G with our Play-Doh today, it's Play-Doh time. As we do that, we're gonna form our letter by saying this poem. So to start, we're gonna do our uppercase G first. And when we make our uppercase G, I have a secret to tell you. The uppercase G looks just like a C when you start to make it. So who remembers how we learn how to make a C? Raise your hand. Lots of you remember, very good. So a C starts like the car on the track, right? And you stop before you get right back. Well, the G is just like the C when you start, but then you go in at the end. So here's what we're gonna say. Start to make a C, go in and you have G, good, let's do it again. Start to make a C, go in and you have G. Very good. We're gonna do our lowercase g next. Now we're gonna talk about our lowercase g and how we make it. Here's our poem that we say for this. A garden starts with a little seed. So you make a circle like a little seed. The roots grow down. That's all you need. See the roots? The roots are going down into the ground, just like a flower or a plant. When they have roots, they go down into the ground. So let's say it together again, ready? A garden starts with a little seed. The roots grow down. That's all you need. I can't wait to make this with our Play-Doh next. So go ahead, get your Play-Doh mat out, get your Play-Doh out. And before we move on, I just want you to review one more time the sound that we make when we say the G. Ready? G, G. Let me hear it. G, G. Very good. Play-Doh time. Okay, today for Play-Doh time, we're gonna get out our green Play-Doh. Go ahead and get out your green Play-Doh. Dig it out of your jar. Does anybody know anything that starts with G other than our objects? We already talked about our objects yesterday. Our gumball machine, our grapes, glue, guitar, and our gummy bear. Can you think of anything else? I'll give you a hint. There's two things in our Play-Doh mat. Two, not just one, two. Gorillas, very good. Gorillas starts with the letter G. And there's something else in the picture that's green. Can you think of what it is? It's grass, that's right. Grass is usually green and just like in the picture, the grass is green. So I have my green Play-Doh out, I'm ready to go. We need to do our Play-Doh warm up. So, get ready, take all of your Play-Doh in your hand. Are you ready? Say, squeeze and let go. 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 Very good. So let's start by stamping out our G's. Now something I wanna show you is this G 
in your letter stamp looks a bit different than this G. And it's good to see letters in different fonts. These are called fonts because when you're when you get older and you use a computer, different fonts are in different formations. So this G looks like this and this G looks exactly like that, but they also came down a bit. So I wanted to show you this so you know what it looks like, but I also want you to know that when we learn our G, we're just going to make it like this when we write it or form it with Play-Doh. But they look very similar, close enough that you'll be able to recognize them. So I'm going to spread out my Play-Doh. If you want to roll it out, go ahead and roll it out just like we always do. And we are going to make green grass on our Play-Doh mat. Can you make green grass on your Play-Doh mat? Just like me. Okay, now take your uppercase G and we are gonna stamp it. And remember when we stamp, what do we do? We say the sound. So our sound says G. And again, G. And again, G. And again, g. Last time for uppercase, g. Very good. Okay, now let's get our lowercase g. Ready? G. And again, g. And again, g. And again, G and the last time. G. Look at those G's. We have a beautiful grass, green grass filled with all of those G's. We have 10 G's all together. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, now we're gonna roll. You know our song. I'm gonna move the mat out of the way while we roll. We're gonna say our song. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay, I'm even going to break this in half, set half aside, and we're gonna make this roll even smaller or thinner. We should say longer, right? It's not gonna be as thick, but it's gonna be longer. So we can make the uppercase G. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Go also starts with G. Can you say it? Ready, set. Go, g, g, go. Okay, we're gonna start here. Remember, start just like a C. There's our C. Take a little bit more. Go in and you have G. Start just like a C. Go in and you have G. Very good. Okay, now we're gonna roll this one out again. Ready? Rolling, rolling, rolling. Break it into two pieces. We need a seed and then the root that goes down into the ground. Okay. We'll say a garden starts with a little seed. A garden starts with a little seed. There's our little seed. There's our little seed. The roots grow down. That's all you need. The roots grow down 
That's all you need. And we said a lot of G words in there. We said G grow starts with G. G garden starts with G. Lots of G words we're learning about. Okay, now we are going to take our gems and decorate our G's. And when we do it, we're going to sing a song. And the green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around. Can you say that? The green grass grows. Do you hear that? Green grass and grows all start with G. So keep singing that with me. The green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around. Again. The green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around. Look at that G. We're going to do the same thing for our lowercase. Remember, if we run out of gems, we can use the ones from our uppercase. So start here. The green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around. The green grass grows all around, all around. The green grass grows all around. Look at that. I am so proud of the way you decorated your G's. They're amazing. Okay, now you can continue playing if you want. You can trace with your gumball machine. Maybe you want your gumball machine to go like this. Just like that. G, 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 g. Or maybe you want to play your guitar. <laughs> or maybe you want to take your glue bottle and glue your G. Ready? Maybe your gummy bear wants to bounce because they're gummy. G, 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 g. Can I hear you? Say it with me. G, 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 g. Very good. I want you to continue to do the same thing. Keep playing with your Play-Doh. Keep exploring. Make sure when you're done, you clean up and put your Play-Doh back in the jar so you can have it for another day. Great job, everyone. You should be so proud of yourself for how hard you've worked today. We're so excited to say our favorite goodbye poem. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. In an hour, sunflower. Maybe two, kangaroo. Got to go, buffalo. Better swish, jellyfish. Chop, chop, lollipop. Gotta run, skeleton. Bye, bye, butterfly. Better shake, rattlesnake. Give a hug, ladybug. Take care, polar bear. Our, Our time, time together now ends. Goodbye, good friends.